Hey guys, welcome to Speech Bubble. I am Butch Hartman, and you are Jace Deal. What's Jace up? Deal and Glad Jace. We've got ourselves a guest over there. Oh, we do. Yes, it's the the amazing Adam MacArthur. Oh, you know who Adam goodness. MacArthur is? I do. Star vs. the Force of Evil. He's on Star vs. the Force of Evil, and he does Marco Diaz's voice. And, and how you doing, Adam? I'm doing great. No, I'm doing great. No, yeah. What does Marco Diaz sound like? Uh, Marco, he sort of sounds like this. He's a he's you know 14 year old kind of safe kid. He does karate. Hey, Jace, heads up. Oh, no. <laughs> Hey, J- Jace, are you? Jace. Jace. Oh, actually, I accidentally J- karate chopped him right in the jug. <laughs> I thought it was funny, but we, uh, his mom's going to be really mad at you. Roll the theme music. Sorry, Mom. All right, guys, that was the amazing theme music. Mm-hmm. And uh, Adam, good to have you here. I'm so happy to be here. By the way, Jay, are you okay, Jace? Oh, I'm, I'm freaking out. How you out. feeling? I'm freaking out. Was it a knife hand strike to the solar oh, plexus? Oh, is that, that what that was? <laughs> it was a karate chop to the neck. A karate chop. That's good. A karate chop. It was almost a, like a massage, though. A classic. Good. Yeah, I have really soft hands. So. <laughs> <laughs> and Jace has a soft neck. So that's yeah, yeah, really yeah, good. Perfect. perfect. Very cool, man. Very cool. Well, welcome to the Big Speech Bubble Podcast. Thank you. This is awesome. We don't get famous people in here like ever. No, we just still don't. That's right. <laughs> but Adam, welcome to We Needed a Guest. So awesome. thanks for coming you're, in today. You're welcome. No, Adam, I don't want you to feel bad, but I'm glad you're here. But we've had way more famous people than you in on here. I'm just letting you know. Oh, that. trust oh, me. I we've know. Had, dude, we've had Jerry Trainer. Oh, it's crazy. We've had me. I mean, right there. there <laughs> when just, you DM'd me on Twitter, I was like, this is a mistake. <laughs> I was like, something, some, nope. <laughs> nope. Oh, <laughs> fooled you with that blue check mark. <laughs> Were you sitting there like I, I, and, and you're in your home, like under your blanket with like mac and cheese, holding your phone, like looking at your, yeah, like, like, always wind. staring at the phone. When will Butch DM me? <laughs> when will it anyone? Happen? It happened. <laughs> <laughs> the prophecy has been fulfilled. Yeah, but, what do I do? <laughs> I just threw my phone. <laughs> what do I do, Mom? Okay, I can't pay my yeah. phone bill. Mom, I gotta, I gotta write her a letter. Yeah, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, we're just loving having you here. We're already laughing. Yes, it's great. I hope the audience is laughing. Hey man, well, it's great to have you here. And uh, uh, we've been a fan of yours for like a mm. week now. Thank you. So which I is really you. exciting. You no, have, I'm kidding. I've been I'm a kidding. fan of Star since it started. Awesome. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Thank I love you. Star vs. the Force of People. And I'm going to be honest with you. I, I knew of Star. I knew of Star's mm-hmm. existence. And yeah. I always wanted to watch Star and never did until... I knew you were coming on. And I'm just being very honest <laughs> no, with you. No, this is great. It was one of those things. Is like I'm like I'm like. Look, I'm like 87 years old. I don't have time to watch cartoons <laughs> anymore. Fantastic. Oh, I appreciate that. I, thank you very much. Thank you. I have a chamber that I sleep in. There's like gas that gets pumped. Yeah, in. it's like Vanilla Sky. Tom Cruise. You ever see that movie? No, nope. wasn't allowed. Uh, never. Oh, there you go. Well, <laughs> anyway, Vanilla Sky. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, it's it's, I, the, it's the race car one. It's a, <laughs> it's the one with the airplanes. <laughs> That's yeah. the one. Oh, That's yeah, the yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's airplanes. an ice cream man in a race car. It's Vanilla Sky. It's a whole thing. I watched the pilot episode last night, and I must tell you, it is hysterically funny. I was Thank laughing you. I was laughing all the way uh, all the way through the whole thing. You have to find time yes to mm-hmm. continue the journey through yes. season 3 because the show changes so significantly. Mm-hmm. Does it really? From that pilot episode to where we end up? Yes. No it's got way. a continuing story in. Which oh, that's cool. From yeah. The first episode, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, the creator is Darren Nafsi. Mm. Darren Nafsi. Okay, because yeah. when I saw the credits, it said you know storyboarded and written by Mike Mullen. I was assuming he was the creator. He's not the creator. No, he's not the creator. And all the fans out there hate me. Like, but you should know. You should know everything about animation all the time. I'm sorry, guys. I, I just yeah. Don't know there, I mean, there's a million things to know. Yes. Mm. There's a million things to be aware of and to yeah. know. Jace no. knows all of them, by the way. That's right. Yeah. Which is. Mm. Why you're here? It doesn't look like, but I have a, I have a large brain here. Yes, it doesn't. It doesn't look like it. So wait, so Darren Nafsi. Yeah, she's uh, she's fantastic. She Good. had this sort of like um, Sailor Moon goes to high school with the Cal Art style. Cal Art style. Cal Art face. Which, yeah, exactly. Which is, which is like a weird thing on Twitter. Apparently. Yeah, everybody. Yeah. Well, the, the, when I went to Cal Arts in the '80s, there was the Cal Art style. Everybody thought they would draw like Disney, and yeah. now everybody looks like. I, I mean, all these shows like uh, the new Thundercats, Star Wars: Force of Evil. What's another couple shows look like? Kind of the same. They have the Gumball, yeah. Gravity Falls, they all have those sort of a same look. I'm not saying they're the same shows at all. Yeah. Fans, please don't hate my guts. <laughs> but I mean, they kind of have a similar look, but Star mm. has a kind of a same look. But I thought the animation in it was fantastic. Mm. Do, oh, it, do you it, happen to know where it's animated, by the way? Uh, so season one was Mercury Filmworks. Okay. Um, and somewhere else. Um, but it changed it. It changed it. It changed it. I say, Watson. <laughs> all right, listen here. Uh, I it say. It changed it rather quickly <laughs> from season one to season two. And I believe season two has now, and season three, don't, uh, don't absolutely. Oh, yes. mind you, of course, uh, was animated at a studio in South Korea called Rough Draft. Ah, I say, I've been, Danny oh, Phantom was animated yeah, yeah. at Rough Draft. Oh, they are so cool. I have mm. been to Rough Draft. Uh, they are a large place. Yeah, I, a I, large need, place. I need to go there at some point. Yes. Uh, and just find all the 
loose paper that is being yeah. thrown on the ground. Like, oh, this is garbage. This yeah. is garbage. I know. This, I know. That's their and, and by the way, that's how they talk it. I was going to say. And they say change it. And they say change it. They kind of sound New York. It's garbage. What is this garbage here? Hey, but actually, the hard part about going to Korea, I've been there like 15 times when we were doing Fairly Odd Parents. That's a show. Have you heard of that show? It's no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's, uh, no offense, but it's better than your show. Anyway, oh. wait, I'm just oh, kidding. It's a joke. It's all, guys, I'm kidding. I love Adam MacArthur. I'm it would have been. I keep wanting to say I Adam. It. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Okay. You know what it was with uh, Fairly Odd Parents? So it's like we got our cast, and do you stick with that cast? You just yeah. kind of stick mm-hmm. in there because you guys can all do 20 voices. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, and so it was like, hey, yep. Tara, can you do this girl and this baby sound and this yep. cat? Sure, I can do all but that. With the star cast, are you guys recording together or separately? It's, it's all, we're all separate. Oh, really? Yeah, we actually, so we just, we that just. That is so strange to me. I always had everybody together mm-hmm. all the time. I, I, I mean, I prefer it. I think uh, whenever they could get us in there together, mm-hmm. they would. And uh, out of everybody, um, Eden Shear, who voices Star, mm-hmm. and I had the most time together. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, because the majority of the scenes are her. Did you guys I. get married? No. <laughs> any married or anything? Any, are you talking any... about in the show? Oh, yeah. What people you, yeah. In, real, in, in real show. life. In real life. People I'm, wanted it in no, the show. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, she's happily <laughs> boyfriended up. Oh God, you God. Go. If yeah. you guys, if you guys get married in the show, that'll ruin the show. You don't want to do that because it's always got to, it's always got to be that will they, won't they kind of thing. Right. Like right. Danny and Danny and Sam and Danny Phantom. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. The same exact thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See, I don't know if the, like, if you know this, but I'm just the voice I, actor. I guarantee, <laughs> so. I, I guarantee I don't know anything. Trust me. I'm, uh, I'm as, deli- as, as delusional and delirious. <laughs> that, that's actually one of the things that I love on Twitter is like, mm-hmm. Hey, can you, can you do this or can you do that? Oh, yeah, or like, yeah. And I'm like, guys. I just say the words. Yeah. I just say the words. They always ask me, hey, Butch, can you get the rights back to Danny Phantom? It's like, I can't. I just yeah. can't. <laughs> yeah. I, Some I, things out of my control. I, no, I, I would love to get the rights back to, to shows you create, but it's like, uh, I always tell people, it's like, I, I even if I came to Nickelodeon with $20 billion, it's still the United States of America. And if they don't want to sell it to you, they don't have to. Yeah. It's, like, it's my yeah. thing. Yeah. I don't need to sell yeah, it to you. Totally. But it's so much money. I don't have to sell it. It doesn't matter. Yeah. So um, your experience before Star versus the Force of Evil, which again, I thought was hilariously done and looked fantastic. Awesome. And made it at Rough Draft. And uh, great. Great job on the voice, by the way. Thank really, you. really funny. Thanks. Not like when he goes, he like leaves school. He's like running from school, and the pilot, he's like, she's like, bye, new friend. He's oh, running yeah. as fast as he can. <laughs> yeah, he's like, and, I'm he out fi- here. and he finally gets home, and he opens the door, and she's in the house. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, meet, meet our new. You know, new tenant. That's pretty much how I thrust my friendship upon people yeah. in okay. real life. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, we're friends now. <laughs> Hello. We're Hello. I kind of felt that way when I walked in and you were already here today. It was yeah. weird. I, I was like, hey, guys. Weird, magical. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome to your office. Well, exactly. Yeah. Now, let's let's go into your life a little bit because people okay. want to know about you. And that's okay. why you're here on the podcast because everyone right. already knows about me and they're sick of me and they're really sick of Jace. Oh, I mean, yeah. Oh, 100%. But Jace is adorable. Yeah. I love Jace. I have to have him here because his mom needs him to be here while she works. That's right. The it's day. Baby babysitting, basically. Yeah, it's kind of a daycare. Exactly. Right. Cool. Right, but he's learning. He's learning things. We do. We have clay. That's right. Ooh, yeah, it's pretty clay. great. It's pretty great, man. Yeah, it's stuff up from Plato. So. That's maybe, maybe right. Maybe we can get some. <laughs> yeah, get some clay. I have one of your people. We yeah. need some, <laughs> some clay. Oh, I have all kinds of people. I know. Right. I know. There's all kinds of people. A clay person just walked. Yeah, exactly. oh, there you go. All right. So, where are you from originally? Uh, originally from Northern California, oh, a little okay. city oh. called Pinole. It's in the East Bay Area. Pinole. Pinole. Never yeah. heard of it. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like one exit off of the major freeway that runs from San Francisco over to the East Bay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And so, those of you who aren't from California, you must know Northern California is a completely different state from oh, Southern it is. California. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not even the same state. And actually, Northern Cal- people who say like, "Oh, I'm from Northern California," mm-hmm. it's technically like just above. Central California. Yeah. It's like yeah, yeah, it's sure. not really the north of California. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. But but even like San Francisco is vastly different from being down, you know, in, in Los Angeles. It's like it's, so different. Yeah, it's, it's such yeah. a huge state. So you're from there. When did you move down here to SoCal? Uh, I moved down here in 2002. 2000, yeah. 2000, no, 2003, October of 2003. Wait a second. It's 15 years ago. Oh my God. Huge round of applause. <laughs> you don't know this, there's people applauding. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thanks, guys. You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. There's one guy. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. Why Wait, are I, you laying on the floor? <laughs> oh, just kidding. I'm always hearing crickets when I, I'm like, the applause, and I hear crickets. So, they're hearing so did you come out here for voice acting, or what was the, or down here? Yeah, Southern so California? I've, there's two things I've always known since I was a kid. One, that I wanted an agent and mm-hmm. two that I wanted to do Kung since you were a kid you wanted <laughs> yes. an agent I want, oh, yeah. how old were you yes. mom, an agent? I, my mom tells me that I was asking for an agent when I was like five really? mom, mom, like a I... secret agent or a <laughs> no like I wanted to be an actor I have no idea where how'd it you, came how'd from how do you know what that was I don't, I don't know I, okay. don't, I don't remember mom can I have a peanut butter sandwich and an agent yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was like you can pick one sure like, honey what do I pick the I immediate really need, I really need yeah. the sandwich <laughs> yeah. I need that right but now but I want a long lasting career exactly exactly
ever not wanting those things. They were just kind of things that I always wanted. So when I was 11, they put me in Kung Fu and Judo. Uh, We'll talk about that as well. We'll get into your Karate Kid days. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, And then when I was 16, they put me in an acting class in San Francisco. Uh, the, The teacher of that class or the owner of the school was a voice on Sesame Street. Which oh. what, which character? Um, I have no idea. Which character? I have no idea. Was it oh, Grover? Right. Hey, everybody! No, no, this is no. your old pal Grover. Her, no, her name was Judy Berlin, and she. Oh, I know who she is. She, was Judy. she like the 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 like? I know the name. Did she? God, did she? No, that's a different name. I was thinking of another person. I was thinking of you. Jace. Oh yeah, yeah. So I was thinking of Jace. Oh, close, very close. Uh, yeah. When you say Judy woman, Berlin, I think of Jace. Jace. I know. Yeah. Judy, no, Jace. It, pu- no, no, it was Puppet Woman. I thought oh, of you. That's yeah, what yeah, it was. Yeah. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sense. <laughs> we all understand. Yeah, I get it. It's the hair. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, you know, it's I got need, like a I mind need, of its I own. need to be replaced as the host of this podcast. I really do. So okay, so uh, uh, so Judy Berlin did a voice on Sesame mm-hmm. Street. Yeah, so she did a, a voice on Sesame Street. Um, an audition came across her desk, I guess, for like young teen voices for some radio commercials for Macy's. Nice. She was like, "Hey, Adam, why don't you do this?" And I didn't know this at the time, but the union was on strike. I don't remember which one. It was back when SAG and After were not uh, a part yes, of the same union. Yes, yes, um, So I auditioned for these radio commercials, ended up booking them, and they turned out to be like 30 in total commercials for Macy's. Oh, my gosh. Um, some Dude, for TV, wow. some for Huge. radio. Um, so I got into AFTRA and I got into SAG. And you got your agent? Got Did my you get, agent. Got your agent. Look at that, that buddy. Yeah. Wow. I saved the money to make a demo, VO demo. Wow. And uh, yeah, I, I worked up in San Francisco for a couple of years until I moved down to L.A. in 2003. But I didn't necessarily come just for that. I I didn't want to just leave home and come move and try and pursue acting. Mm-hmm. Um, I wanted to finish up school and all that. It was really important to my parents for me to finish up school. And so you stu- what did you study in school? I did theater and TV production. So still Real acting perfect. stuff. So still acting yeah, yeah, stuff. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you, you've just been 100% devoted to being an actor. Yeah. That's, That's awesome. amazing. Yeah. That's very cool. And look yeah. at this. You're achieving the dream. Did, now, what is what has – was the goal to be like a movie actor like like uh, on, on the big screen or has it always been voices? I've, it's, I've always loved animation. I've always loved cartoons. Really? Yeah, I've always loved cartoons. But I, I kind of always done wanted to do everything. Yeah, got it, so got it, got it. It was so. sort of just like, just do it. I don't know. It was never separate for me. I mean, I know a lot of people are like, oh, I only do VO, and no, I'm a commercial actor. Right, right, for right. For me, it was just like, let's have some fun. Very do, cool. Man. Do so, so you yeah. came down here now. When now, um, what voices did you do before you got Star? Uh, what, what, uh, what did, so, would we know anything that you've done? Gosh, uh, I was um, Prince Lee Char on mm-hmm. like a nice little arc on Clone Wars back when that was on Cartoon Network. Got it, got it. Um, what else? Um, I was. Wait, what is Clone Wars on now? Is it on Disney? Disney now? What yeah. Is, so it's got to be. Yeah. So Clone mm-hmm. Wars. Okay. So Clone Wars was done for a bit. Then Rebels was on Disney XD. Now right. there's going to be Resistance on. I don't know if they're putting it on Channel or XD because Disney can't make up their mind where they're putting stuff. Right. Right. Um, and then Clone Wars is actually coming back for another. What is it? Do you know if it's like the yeah, sixth uh, or seventh? Uh, I think six. Six. Yeah, season. on the streaming service. Yeah. They're like kind of like uh, adding more episodes to it. Okay. Yeah, but I, I was looking it up. Uh, Lee Char. I watched the episodes. They're awesome. Uh-huh. Awesome. And thanks. Who do you know? Who do you, know? you play Lee Char? Yeah. yeah. It Got was it. like a uh, Admiral Akbar. Wait, did, was there any? Did you think to do? It's a trap. I'm, yeah, I'm well, Lee Char. Uh, so what's funny it's a is, trap. so uh, you know, when the auditions come for stuff yeah. like Star Wars and all that, it's all coded. Like you don't know. Oh, it's like, really? Okay. It's like you're auditioning for the role of Alan on Project X, and it's in the, oh. it's like Prince Lee Char on Star Wars Clone Wars. Like there's no way. I, I didn't, it was like that in the movies. I didn't know they did it for the yeah, shows. Too. I had no idea that I booked. Star Wars Clone Wars until I was literally in the waiting room about to go into record. Wow. I had seen no scripts. Whoa. I, I thought it was I had I, I was like maybe I'm working on an episode. You of know a what's show? weird about that? This is Star Wars Clone Wars. Yeah. We just didn't want to no tell way. you. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations! No yes, season yes. six. Hey, congrats, man. Yeah, yeah. So yep. what you know going in? It's a trap. In. What? <laughs> what you know going in? Uh, I, I knew nothing. nothing. I knew that I had booked something that okay. was animation. Mm. Yeah. So. You know, I don't know. And then I got in there and a production assistant came out and was like, oh, hey, Adam, uh, nice to meet you. My name's Darth Vader. Brittany. <laughs> hello, yeah. my name is yeah. Darth Vader. Yeah. Welcome Dar- to the Star Dar- Wars. Darth Brittany. Hello. <laughs> yeah. I was like, hello, Darth Brittany. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she handed me a piece of paper and it mm. said, dear Mr. MacArthur, on behalf of George Lucas, we'd like to welcome you to the Star Wars family. And I was like. Well, that's you your have, introduction. Do you have that letter tattooed on your chest? Yeah. You tattooed <laughs> on your chest? I do. It's on my back. It's on my back. Nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's, oh, there you go. This is <laughs> so that's how you found out. This is that letter. Yeah, that's, that letter. That's the best and, way and to I, find And I still have. Amazing, I man. still had no idea that it was an arc, like that I was doing multiple oh, okay. episodes mm-hmm. until I was literally done with that session. Well, and you're like, the main part of that arc too. Like it's all about yeah. finding you. Right. That's crazy. Right. Yeah. yeah, it was that was a cool sort of like first 
thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, LeBron very James cool. had an animated series for a while that I was on. Oh, cool. Um, I voiced a kid named Eric who was like this sort of like nerdy math kid. The opposite of LeBron James. The opposite <laughs> of LeBron James. Yes, yes. Um, so I did that. I worked on what was that? What else was before Star? I feel like there was a lot of like little random videos. So games lots of lots of Final shows Fantasy. with the word star in them. Yeah, that's all yeah. I'm noticing. This is my you. niche. That's what I'm saying. It's, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. yeah. Did you know that they've continued uh, Lee Char after the series? Yes. Yeah, Actually, I, I've, had, I've had fans send me comics. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah and cool. when I was at Comic Con this year, um, I was I was literally uh, coming out of a restaurant and I saw a cowboy hat walk in front of me, oh. and I was like, oh, that's Dave Filoni. Uh-huh. And so I'm not underst- I, I don't understand any of this. What's no, going Dave on? Dave Filoni's the showrunner of Clone Wars and oh, Rebels. Oh, got, yeah. got, yeah, yeah. got it. Got it. Okay. He, he's always in a cowboy hat. Always yeah. in a cowboy hat. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's Dave. I was like, Dave. And he goes, hey, how's it going? And he kind of looked at me and I was like, Adam MacArthur, I worked on Clone Wars. And he was like, oh, like he had to remember the show oh, yeah, or something yeah, yeah. like that. I was like, that's show you did. Like, well, that's why I never say hi to people at Comic Con. Yeah. I was like, you know, yeah. hey, aren't you that? Nope, not yep. me. Yep. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What was it like working with Dave? Because I, I hear a lot that he kind of gives background of the characters before you get into that. Is that true? Yeah, like, yeah. He, like, no, it, it was, it was awesome. Wars. And again, because I was going in, I mean, literally blind. I hadn't mm. seen a yeah, script. Yeah. I, mm. didn't, I didn't know anything. That's amazing to me. That's pretty cool. It, it was it was really neat. But he he definitely led that. It was a – it was – um. And one of the things I appreciate about, appreciate about animation in general is how collaborative it is. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, with him specifically, it was he was giving me all the information as I'm like about to read the line. Oh, okay. It's like, okay, so right here, you know, this is mm. happening and this is happening. His father just died and blah blah blah. Do you blah, feel blah. that got in the way of your acting or did that help you out? Because I as a as a voice director myself, I would sometimes let the actors do like two or three runs on their own. Then yeah. I'd say, okay, you're doing it all wrong. Here's how you do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, would, that would correct them. I, I'm, is I, I, too much information or no, I'm yeah. easy. Yeah, sure. good to hear. I'm yeah. easy. You're like, following it, direction really well here right now. You're, saying, you. everything, you're saying everything we want you to. Thank you. Any, anything else? <laughs> no, 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 you're doing great. Yeah. Adam, here. you're doing great. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Yeah. You're doing great. So you did You did Star Wars. Are you mm-hmm. still on Star Wars? Did we see you on Star Wars from mm-hmm. this point on or what? Not as of yet. <laughs> when I looked up Lee Char since, because I want to see if there's any toys or comics or anything, Yeah. he's died since then. Oh. Lee Char, they had all I didn't know this. Stuff. You didn't know that? No. The, whole, the last comic with him in it is him dying. He has a respirator on and Leia's coming to save him. Is he like old? Before Leia comes, he dies. Yeah, he's really old. Oh, he is he like a water creature? Like What's the deal? Yeah. Is, he, yeah. is he a squid creature? Yeah. So a, does he have water Mon in his... Calamari. So yeah. he's an Admiral Ackbar looking. Does he have like water... Because Admiral Ackbar, when I was a kid, was in Return of the Jedi. Yeah. yeah. It's a trap, and then yeah, yeah. we really didn't see him much. Right after that, um, I think he should have been in. Um, uh, what was it uh, the last Star Wars movie, Return of the Jedi, or the Last Jedi? He should he have been in. in it. He was. Yeah, he was in. It. But they should have done. Maybe they should have made Force Awakens in Last Jedi. He's and they should have made a bigger deal out of it, though. They yeah, they, they kind of had him there in the background, yeah. but still, yeah. they have water in their suits. They're like water creatures, correct? The, there's no. Yeah, they're just water creatures. Okay, so, so like, like the but cool. they walk among us wearing suits of water. Well, okay, am I so correct? Is this correct? I, I think like sandy can, cheeks in SpongeBob, is that what I'm talking about? No, I think about? they can just be in the water or out of the water. Like they're they can they can live either way. Either way. Yeah, oh, they don't need any special suits. Fancy, yeah, cool fancy, fancy, fancy boys. God, I wish I could yeah. do that. Fancy boys. <laughs> yeah, actually, the the cool thing about uh, the so it was the first three episodes of Clone Wars season mm-hmm. four, and the whole like hype behind it and why they had that as the first uh, couple episodes was Got it was it. the first time we'd ever seen any underwater world in the Star Wars universe. Oh, what about cool. Fan, yeah. Even before Phantom Menace. Because in Phantom Menace, they dive in the water with with Jar Jar, and there's a mm-hmm. whole underwater this is city. Before, this is before that? No, this is Phantom after Menace that. was 99. No, yeah, it, it was definitely the first that. time we've seen a whole clan of Mon Calamaris. Right. Definitely. Yeah, yeah there, underwater. Was, there was some that kind of cool yeah, thing. Definitely. Yeah. And we, we did the – they had the premiere of the three episodes at the Long Beach Aquarium. Oh, cool. oh, that's pretty And they fun. had like really? submerged plexiglass characters and all of the that's things. Awesome. So like, it's actually walk, very cool. It was really cool. Yeah, and the, really they cool. have a 4 theater there. So mm-hmm. while you're watching the underwater episodes, you're like getting sprayed with water <laughs> and like all this stuff. It was that's a lot really of fun. Cool. Wow, yeah. man. Yeah. You, you have a charmed life, Adam MacArthur. I'm telling I'm, you. you have I a charmed very, life. very, very lucky. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. man. Yeah. So, okay. So you did Star Wars. Then you got Star. What year was that? What year did you get, uh, land the Star? So I started working on Star in October. October. Uh, Everything's October. Every yeah, day. it's Man. always October. With You're you. right. October. What was the other thing that we said? You see, when you moved down here, yeah, yeah. things with yeah. star. Things yeah. with star. Then you moved down here in October and of 20, things, 2003. Uh, okay. This is yeah. my month. I'm, there you go. Big I'm month. All, I'm here. It's, it's You're October. Yeah, it's October right now. Come on. Boom. It's crazy. Man. Yeah. yeah I, uh, October I start, of what year? Uh, 2013. Okay. So yeah. it's been five years. So I've been I've been living with Marco for. 
for a bit. When Pretty did the cool. show, was the show like a year later or does it take it, a while to it get It didn't in start until 2015. Yeah, yeah okay. it's about a year yeah, yeah. and a half. Mm-hmm. Um, and you probably got like a 20 episode or a 25 episode order, I would imagine. Yep. Yep. Yeah, cool. Nickelodeon did weird things. They would give like six episodes, 10 episodes. Very rarely <laughs> did I get the full 20 episodes, but Disney, I guess, goes, hey, we're going to make 65 right now. Mm-hmm. Disney does that sort mm-hmm. of thing. So Yeah, it, it's interesting that where I think Disney is a little bit you, like I don't know if it's unique or just weird or not mm. good. Um, but their, <laughs> their their scheduling is all over the place, and I know animation oh, yeah, is weird because when stuff gets delivered, mm-hmm. but for the most part, the production schedule is is what it is. Mm. But then, you know, they're trying to figure out this whole XD channel, like where what airs mm. when and what you know. And with whatnot. Star, it's hard for the fans because it's like, oh, we got this great cliffhanger. The next one's coming out in six months. Right. What? I know. <laughs> Same yeah, I know. So it's like The Sopranos yeah. in a way. It's exactly. Like, yeah. It's exactly. <laughs> Star is yes. literally 100%. exactly. Like the Sopranos. That's what I thought. Yeah. See, yeah. right here in Speech Bubble. There you go. You guys all... are from the pilot episode. You're like, this is Tony Soprano. Oh yeah. my gosh. It's like Tony Soprano. See it right yeah. here. Yeah, exactly. Marco's Tony. So you've yeah. been doing so uh Marco's the only character you do on the show? Uh I do I do there's a Do you bunch, branch off? Yeah, there's a like bunch of other like mm-hmm. little random I think because Mar- the show is so heavily Marco and Star, they try and keep us from doing too many other things. Oh, sure. But it. like in season one, uh, and I think this was in the pilot episode, um, Ludo, who's voiced by Alan Tudyk, has a bunch of henchmen. Mm. So I voice a giant evil chicken. Okay, got oh. it. Yeah. Uh, that Wasn't I, there a guy named oh, yeah. Buff Frog? In yeah, yeah, Buff yeah. Frog. Buff Fred Tatasher is Buff Frog. Very yeah. funny. Uh, yeah. yeah. Russian dude. Who has a great story arc in the, yeah. in the, the I, I got I got to yeah, start yeah. watching it because I mean, I feel bad. Uh, please, uh, Speech Bubble fans, don't hate me because it's like I can't watch <laughs> everything. Him. I know, everybody, they hate me. Everybody <laughs> tweet him until he uh, watches the whole show. Please don't. Yes, I don't be yeah. relentless. You know what's great about the internet? It's so uh, forgiving. That's what's great about the internet. It's so friendly and forgiving. Nice people. Yeah, everybody Everybody takes the time to get to know you off the internet <laughs> personally so they have a gauge. Yeah, it's so Are you true. telling me that people would just latch onto something that's a rumor and just go with it? Are you telling me that would happen on the internet? No. Never, no. ever. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. So doing Star, you've been doing it for, uh, and who, who's the girl who plays Star? Uh, Eden Shear. Eden Shear, mm-hmm. okay. Mm-hmm. Who's uh, also Sue Heck on The Middle, mm-hmm. if you watch that sitcom on ABC. Oh, that's, oh I do, yes, yeah. the, the young girl. Like, mm-hmm. Oh, she's great. Yeah, she's oh, phenomenal. The, the Middle's very funny. She's, it's a great it's show. It's fantastic. It's the, it's the, and I, I don't know. That's a show I watch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> it's, it's okay. A, it's a joke, Adam. <laughs> it's just, a, Adam, welcome to people who will never come back on Speech Bowl. <laughs> I'm out of here. I always say the, the Middle is actually, it's the it's the longest running sitcom no one knows is on. Really? It's, but it it's is true. Really, but it's yeah. incredibly popular. Yeah, yeah. It's incredibly popular. Yeah, no one even talks about it or knows about it. no one it. talks yeah. about it, but it's just one of those like sort of staples. And I know a lot sure. of people were sad when it, when it went It was like my and... show King of Queens years ago. I used to watch King of Queens all show. the time. Yeah. And mm-hmm. it's like I watch it in reruns all the time and like no one even knew it was on. Yeah. I mean, but it, it was because there was Everybody Loves Raymond, which was the big show. Right. And then King of Queens was a kind of semi spin It was of sort of like the little brother. Yeah. It kind of was. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like Jace is my little brother. That's right. There yeah, he yeah, is. Yeah. He's my brother, adorable, great hair. You know, He's the Coach Hartman spinoff. He's the King of Queens. He's the King of Queens. He's some fan questions. Wow. Okay. With Star vs. the Force of Evil. Right. Well, I got a couple of things. Real quick, real quick. The, the martial arts stuff now. Yeah. Real quick. I, I, I got to go into that because I know you've worked hard okay. on that for a long, long yeah. time. So the martial arts started when? Uh, I started doing Kung Fu and Judo when I was 11. Wow. Yeah. Now, yeah. just because they wanted to put you in it or were you attacked like by a gang of people <laughs> when you were a kid and you needed to defend yourself? Uh, your I, was, I was actually beat up. Really? Uh, in, at, in my sixth grade class. Wait, oh. bring that up, Butch. Yeah. Wow. Bring I'm that just asking because it's like Ralph Macchio in the in, yeah. in, in the Karate Kid. No, I was beat up. So I had like, like I said earlier, I have always asked to do martial arts. Uh, my dad was a police officer. He had done martial arts with this guy. Officer was, McKay? Officer, Officer McKay. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Officer MacArthur. Yeah. I, I keep wanting to call him Adam McKay, the director oh. of, of yeah. Step Brothers. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Officer MacArthur. That's yeah, a great there name. There can be only one. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. McKay. So yeah. I'm going to go. I'm gonna, <laughs> okay, okay. So, so that was your that was your dad, uh, yeah. cop. Cool. Yeah, so he was a cop. He uh, had trained martial arts with this like kind of famous guy who had come over from China back in like – the teacher came over in the 60s. My dad trained with him in the 80s wow. um, when he was on the police department. And I had begged to be put in martial arts. My parents were like, oh, I don't know. I was doing a lot. I was playing baseball and soccer. So it was kind of just another thing for them and whatever. Um, but I knew that I always wanted to do it. Um, my, in my sixth grade year of elementary, I got my butt kicked. And I was like, "Like, is that 
is this, can I do it now? Can I yeah. do it now? Right. Wow. And my mom was like, all right. And at the same time, that teacher that my dad had trained with on the police department opened a school right down the street from my house. Oh, there you go. So it kind of all happened at the same time. Yeah. Now, Jace, why'd you beat him up in sixth grade? Why would you do that? I, it wasn't, I didn't why? time travel. What, what, there was no time what, travel. Did, what, did, 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 yeah. what, what happened? Did, did, was it me? You, yeah. It was oh, you. crap. Yeah. Okay. I knew there was one you guy. You slapped me right across the face. You're like, you'll never have hair like me. Well, I didn't even bother to look at who it was. I'm sorry. That's okay. That's okay. Well, just just tone down the violence. Okay, sorry. Please, sorry please. It's it embarrassing out. me. Okay, good. Yeah, it all we're out. all here. Yeah. We're all so, Marsha, so, forgiving. so yeah. could you like chop this table in half if I asked you to right now? It depends. Like, it depends. Yeah, it's a four mica. It's I think pretty, it's four mica. It's pretty thin. Oh, four mica? Yeah, I could break this. It's pretty thin. Oh, I could break this. No yeah. problem. Could you chop me in half? You already did, actually. Never mind. I already got that. Yeah, neck. yeah. Well, you got yeah. that. So, <laughs> you, start, you started with Kung Fu. Yeah, so I started with Kung Fu. My school taught Kung Fu and Judo. So, my teacher is Chinese. He came over from China, moved to Chicago, and trained with this like famous Judo instructor there. He wanted to sort of branch out from Chinese martial arts. Wow. Then started a school in Northern California. He taught both. Judo is like wrestling and ground, like grappling, gra grappling, mm -hmm. and all right. that stuff. Right. Kung Fu is more like kicking and punching and all that. So they they blend really nicely. Which one looks the coolest though? Like if I was gonna film you fighting somebody, Kung Fu for <laughs> Kung sure. Kung Fu is yeah. the coolest well, one. Well, only because with Judo you need someone else. You for mm -hmm. sure need another person to like hold on to and do anything. Like I could do some moves that could look cool on their own, Kung Fu wise. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, I'm talking about fighting another person though. Like fighting. Like, oh. Like you know. They're both cool. They're both pretty cool. Yeah. Like when you watch a Batman movie, like Christian Bale fighting as Batman, like oh. are they doing actual moves or is it like lame? It's like really lame stuff. A lot oh, of yeah, times it's really it. lame. Is it oh, really okay. lame? It's really, but we are in like a really awesome time. Like movies like John Wick. Mm -hmm. Yes, like John Wick. Incredibly intricate choreography. Or like The Raid. Have you seen those? Oh, The Raids are crazy. So what about yeah, what yeah. about like um, uh, Captain America, like the Marvel movies? Like yeah, the, you Winter, know, Winter Soldier was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're doing a lot of great stuff. And actually a, a lot of those um, – it's funny. I have uh, my martial arts community down here in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. and there was a huge pull for me to sort of try and go into the stunt area uh, and, all okay. that, and all that yeah, stuff yeah, right yeah. away. And uh, a lot of those guys, when they're older, like don't walk right and have a hard time physically oh, yeah. and stuff yeah. like that. Because well, they, so they're, they're falling to, from the heights of 20 feet yeah. every day. Every day. For it's, years. It is, it's incredibly brutal. And the people who are in, like really, really good at it, there's – um. There's a place down like past LAX. I want to say it's in El Segundo called 8711. It's a, an action. Like it's literally a stunt house. It's the guys who like their entire team are the stunt team for John Wick. Wow. And all this stuff. And Any these, action movie of any kind. Yeah. yeah. These yeah. guys and they do like. John Wick was pretty epic. I wasn't mean, it that, awesome? Just watching watching the fights in that movie. Yeah, were pretty epic. There, um, there's something really refreshing about such a simple storyline too. And just letting it the was character simple. like yeah. be the thing that's they, 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 they hurt his dog. They yeah. killed his dog. And <laughs> yeah. that's it. And yeah. he's going to go yeah. find yeah. the guy. That's it. I, I love the scene. And I'm, by the way, I'm not endorsing John Wick, by the way, family friendly audience. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. but I'm saying uh, they're, they're like the, the, the kid goes back to his dad. He's like, yeah, I killed the guy's dog. And he goes, whose dog? It was John Wick. And the dad goes, oh. whose dog? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, what did you do? What and I was like, done? okay, this is going it to sets be. The, that one line sets the tone for <laughs> yeah. the entire and you're like, movie. And, you're like, and he calls like a hundred guys. You've got to stop this guy. And <laughs> yep. it's like, oh, yep. no. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. Yeah, so very nice. So uh, you've done no stunt work, but you want to do stunt work. Or do I, you I, don't want to, I don't necessarily want to do stunt it's work. It's a hard I, life, man. It's like anything. You sort of have to dedicate yourself to that one avenue. And mm. yeah. yeah I, I I still enjoy training. I um, train regularly still and Very all cool. that stuff. Yeah, yeah, so it's, it, you do. So you're like it's really kind of second nature. After 25 years, you said a lot it's of got to be second nature. Yeah, you know? yeah. Right. Okay. Well, that Definitely. leads into the first fan question. Look at this. Wow. Look at this segue. We needed that transition. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> uh, from Fike sixty six. By the way, you're having a good time. I'm having are a great you, are time. Are you enjoying awesome. this? I'm having a great time. Is anybody out there listening? Do you think? I hope people are listening. <laughs> we normally have at least two people who listen, which yeah. is great. Tweet because Adam McKenzie is here. I mean, yeah. McKay <laughs> MacArthur is here. Uh, yes, that's uh, right. Alan Mackerel. <laughs> Alan Mackerel is <laughs> yeah. here. Yeah. Here he yeah. is <laughs> from from the Bob Hope Show, nineteen sixty one. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But Fike sixty six is Marco based on your personality? or is it just a coincidence that you and Marco both do a fighting sport? Ooh, great question. Uh, I think initially it was probably coincidence mm -hmm. because they were working on the show long before I was cast. Right, right. Um, but the cool thing about being on a show for this many seasons, and I'm sure you can attest to this, is as, you, as your actors sort of get – you know, familiar with the character. Oh, yeah. There is definitely this sort of like overlap. Mm -hmm. um, I'm obsessed with Boba, with Bubble Tea. 
Oh, and in, it's in real yeah, life. Yeah. And now it's like all over the show. Yeah. Like you'll see Marco sitting on the edge of the bed and he'll be holding a mm. bubble tea. <laughs> um, they just came out with a book, uh, Star Wars is the Force mm. of Evil Magic Book of Spells. Um, mm. They created this sort of like, they're calling it kind of like a season three and a half. Right. Um, cool. Because it's got a lot of lore from mm. the show and all that stuff. Very but cool. in there, there's a whole set, like little mention of Boba and stuff like that. So, <laughs> cool. so initially, great. I think. Do you get any royalties from that at yeah, all? There you go. No. Ah. Uh, but, but. But. If I asked Darren, she would totally take me out and buy me a boba. That, <laughs> that is all I need. That's that is all, all I need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there. Yeah, right there. Totally right there. I've never bought Jace a boba, I don't think. Would you ever drink a boba? Uh, it sounds interesting. Have you <laughs> never had one? I have not. Isn't it just what like the little the balls in it? What the hecky fresh. It's, it's creepy to yes. me, honestly. Jace okay. only drinks water. I'm not That's even right. joking. I'm Have not even kidding don't. around. I'm like, I'm, okay, the only other thing besides water that mm. I drink is boba. Okay. Seriously? Have you had one? I never have had one. I've seen the word out there. I've seen, and I would, <laughs> you're, I would, like te- you're like, oh Do you know what I'm about boy. to do right now? What are you, what are you about to do? do? I'm about to pick up this camera and we're turning this into a vlog. A vlog. We're, we're going to get in a car gonna go and we're right. going to go get a boba. <laughs> exactly. Boba okay, pool we, karaoke. We, we have to make that happen. Okay. Let's it is do it. one of my And favorite. no one's done a Boba Fett joke at all. I'm not, I'm not oh, even, I'm not even yeah, going there. Not even going there. Yeah. Could have gone Star Wars. Introducing other people to bubble tea is one of my favorite. Really? Why is it called bubble? It's bubble tea. Yeah, so it like it can be a various. I, I know so little on this podcast. <laughs> okay. I don't know anything. So, on this. I usually I know some stuff. I'm so in the dark well, it's on this like podcast. Speech bubble, bubble tea, speech bubble. I understand speech, that. I'm going to push bubble the tea. The exactly. It's a new segment. We have to do Wham! it. Wham! We have to do it. Now. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so tell me about the tea. Okay, so it, uh, the liquid of the tea can be various things. You can have a milkshake. You can have a slushy. You can have like yeah. green tea with oh, honey okay. in. You can have uh, black tea. Whatever. Mm-hmm. The bubbles are little tapioca pearls. They call them. They're about this big. They there are a bunch of them at the bottom of the drink, and then you drink out of a straw that's really thick. So oh, okay. as you're drinking the tea, you are getting these almost like chewy, kind of like softer gummy bears got in your drink. It, so it's like it. a really fun drink experience. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah. You guys, you we guys. Do it. We, there are kids listening. We don't want to influence them in any negative way, okay? <laughs> yeah. This, no, this is li- for this is, the best. Uh, this for is highly better. positive. Just get it with less sugar. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there you go. Green tea is full yeah. of antioxidants. Mom, dad, it's all fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's all fine. It's all refined sugar. I, I never heard it called bubble tea before. I know I've heard of boba. I've never yeah. heard of, mm-hmm. uh, Now I'm thinking of also the little ice cream, the little freeze-dried ice cream balls. What are those? Oh, the oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Dippin' Dots. Yeah, yeah Dippin' Dots. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Is it, are, are they related to Dippin' Dots at all? No. Not at all? No. Yeah, okay. Completely unrelated. Completely different, yeah. different, different round little things. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. yeah. Other than the shape, no relation. <laughs> okay. oh, yeah. And with you being, I'm learning so to... much from Adam Mc, McMurray. He's, yeah. oh, he's, he's the great. Close, he's, getting I'm getting closer, closer each time. It's Good McDougal. Job. It's McDougal. Excuse me, <laughs> little McDougie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with you being uh, similar to Marco, one of my favorite things that you guys have done outside the show is the Marco Live chats that you've done, oh, those which are, are so great. Fun. I want to know how do you guys do that? Well, you got to explain it for the audience and, and Butch, and Butch too. yeah, and me for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who has no idea what we're yeah. talking no, we about. No, right we kind of we were. I think it's funny because uh, when I was in Nickelodeon, um, at the time I was there very little original things were getting done. And mm-hmm. they would be like, we should do these live things. We're gonna oh, do yeah. They were doing it with Loud House and we we're going to do it with Bunsen as a Beast. Mm. But I think they got it from Disney. I think like, oh, okay. Disney's doing it. We should do it. That's what I think is Okay, so it's, a, it's this really cool thing where Adobe created a character animator software specifically for Disney to use for these live Oh, it chats. started with Disney? It started with Disney. Oh, it had that's never, what it I had thought. Never yeah. been I remember the program. We did know. the wow. first animated live chat on YouTube. So YouTube had us on their homepage when we did it mm-hmm. and all this cool stuff. So essentially, I'm sitting in front of a laptop. The web cam is has scanned my face um the marketing department um worked with the animators to put in all these pre-programmed animated actions Mm -hmm. so i could do things like you know like this and uh i well if we're only listening to it like like hold your hand up (laughs) like a karate chop or or like you know my my eyebrows would go up and down right um i could cue characters entering in the background Mm -hmm. and stuff like that but for my mouth movements and for my head movements it was all facial capture Oh, um, I didn't have any yeah. mocap suit on. It was mm-hmm. literally the webcam. Um, wow. And so we did, yeah, we did these live chats. Mm-hmm. I had someone to my left helping me control Marco's arms. So, like so, so somebody would call in or somebody would write in and you would just answer as the character. And then the character would be animated right instantaneously right then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we did them on YouTube. So people would ask questions in the comments. Amazing, man. We would go through and sort of do like a recap of the season or whatever mm-hmm. we were doing. Very cool. Yeah, it was, it was, those were, those it was really were a fun. lot of fun. You do that at Disney too? Is that what, So we do that. So um, Disney TV Animation has a building um, in technically Glendale. It's already on the edge of Burbank. And then there's another, they're like the Disney Channel building where oh, okay. I guess all the signal is sent out is. That's, a, that's on Bur- in Burbank as well. That's yeah. a tall building, so right? So can yes. we go yeah, and hijack yeah. the signal and put this 
on Disney Channel right now. Yeah. Let's do That'd that. That'd be real. Let's do it. Let's do Why it. not? We should do it. Let's go, guys. I have a question for you. Well, yeah. Once you became an animated character, like a star, like I'm not I meaning star of the forces of evil, <laughs> but an actual, like a, a character, like mm. the star, people know you. Yeah. Have you found the fan interaction with yourself to be very interesting? Oh, I want to ask about that too. Yeah. 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 Uh, when you meet, when you meet the, when you meet the fans of star, do you mm. do, I'm sure you enjoy it, but yeah. uh, you find it's a unique experience, is it not? Mm. Oh yeah. I, I, every experience, every time I'm meeting somebody, it's mm. different. You yeah, never, yeah. you kind of never know what you're going to get. And yeah. the th- I do actually really, really enjoy the fan interaction so do i actually yeah but I, there's a unique experience so you meet some interesting people for sure of course yeah, yeah. of course um i've developed certain techniques that i use uh, <laughs> like what? With, well, <laughs> it's so funny like okay so i'm i have this thing with smells like if something doesn't smell good i'm like all right i've got to get away <laughs> and and you know adam i think a lot of people are like that. Yeah, okay I think, yeah. not just you but it's not just with bad smelling things sometimes it's like oh it's like, like, strong like a new lotion or something sure. like that if right. i don't like the smell i'm like ah i've mm. got it I've like, I got to do it right now. Right. And one of the things that was like <laughs> irking me, my first few con experiences yeah. was people coming out for pictures, putting their arm around me and their armpit touching my shoulder oh. and then having to like smell, even if it oh. wasn't like bad, but like having that person smell be with me. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. So I have this technique now. If I ever, <laughs> if I ever use it on anyone, you know what I'm doing, but people will come in and they'll go to, and I'm not like the tallest guy. So a lot of people like will put their arms over mm-hmm. my shoulder. Right. So I always do this thing where I'm like, Hey, and then I put my arm over oh, there, there, over like over the top of them so that they're around my back. Uh huh. So I have all Look these that, like, little, little little techniques yeah. now. Nicely yeah. done. That's, that's why you put your arm around my back when I walked in. That's, <laughs> that, that was yeah. so yeah. straight. I was like, put your arm in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but everyone thinks I'm really excited to see them. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a karate defensive move. Yeah, it is. Now, you it know is. karate too? No, uh, no, no just, karate. Just judo and it. just kung fu. Yep. Mm-hmm. We could totally take him with our karate. Yeah, don't don't, yeah, don't even do it. tell him what yeah. we could do exactly. <laughs> what's, right. So with more, being oh, at... <laughs> oh, you kicked me out of the table. Oh, That's we have, so cheap. Another person. My leg! <laughs> no. no, with um, being at Disney, yeah. so you go to Comic-Con and D23 Expo, right? Yeah, we did, we did, uh, we did both. We've done Comic-Con since, I think we just did our fourth year at Comic-Con. Oh, cool. Oh. Uh, but we've only done one D23, although I think... Because they're like every two it's years. It's like yeah, biannual. Yeah. Or does that make sense? No. By the way, yeah, yeah. Jace is the biggest Disney fan on oh, the yeah. planet. So Sweet. you're sitting yeah, here I go and to he, every he loves everything. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah. So the what, what's the difference for you with like fans or panels at D23 versus Comic-Con? Um... Hmm. Or is, is there, there a big is difference? Is there a difference? There, there, well, D20, I mean, Comic-Con, the hard part about comparing those two things is San Diego Comic-Con in and of itself yeah. is like... It's just a beast. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it's like being in an that's, airport. That's why I like when D- – yeah. yeah. like Being in an airport yeah. and you're trying to like, you know, talk to one person yeah. in an airport. It's, yes. it's crazy. It's very it's, huge. It's crazy. And for whatever reason, there's a lot more press and stuff that happens around Comic-Con mm-hmm. than D23. So my personal experience at Comic-Con is I'm like – Every 30 minutes, I'm off to the next thing. It's like an interview here, yep. a photo shoot here, Bend this there, yeah, and that. Yeah. And so it's like, it's constant. D23 is it's exhausting. Like, it's it's, it's exhausting, exhausting yeah, in like the best way. I do, uh, no, love, absolutely. Yeah, I absolutely. do love that kind of stuff. Yeah, I didn't go this year. I, I, I didn't get a chance to, but every time I go, it's just a blast. I love it. But it's like you're exhausted and, and then, oh, there's Iron Man. Cool. Right. <laughs> right. There's right. a little yeah. energy yeah. boost. Yeah. But yeah. the cool thing about D23 is there's still a lot of stuff to mm. do, but I also get time to just kind of like walk around and look. And I mean, I'm a fan of all the stuff as well mm, so sure, it's nice sure. to like get time where i'm not having to like with comic-con it's like all right i've got 40 minutes this is my only opportunity to mm. go on the floor and i'm like running around but then yep. i'm like saying hi to artists that i love mm, that yep. i've met and like and that whatever. 40 minutes well, goes very fast it goes yeah. very very yeah. fast and then so, when yeah. you walk out of the convention center it's 100 degrees because it's july and you're like <laughs> yes. i'm like and you try to walk back mm. to your hotel and so yep. yeah it's an exhausting but cool experience yep. yeah for sure so yep. if you guys ever get down to comic-con say hi to adam mckenzie he would love to see you. <laughs> okay so <laughs> another question i were oh from uh, the fans yeah from missy w2u Missy W to you. Did you know in advance the twist to Star's song, or did they do some kind of surprise reveal for you guys? Yeah, going off that, like, with, what is what is she talking about? Well, okay. I don't know what that Since is. Star has like a running uh, running story throughout it, do yeah. you get to know ahead of time, or is it like Star Wars where you know when you get in the booth? Kind of uh, no, I question. know ahead of time. So okay, I, cool. I'm I'm getting all my scripts ahead of time for Star. Mm-hmm. I mean, a day or so ahead of when I yeah, record. Yeah, of course. Right, right. Um, but I'm also like, I love <laughs> I love the story of Star. So when yeah. I'm in there, I'm like, yeah. okay, wait, what hap- Like, what's happening? Like, oh, like give me the backstory. rundown. I want yeah. more backstory. Yeah, yeah, cool. Like, I love it. Um, so yeah, Patrick Stump from Fallout Boy mm-hmm. guested on the show. He voices a character named Ruberiot, who is like a songster. Um, and uh, in an episode, Star is tasked with working with him to come up with 
a song that sort of like expresses who she is as a princess. Right. Um, and so that question is asking if I knew the twist. So at the very end of the song, mm -hmm. there's like, you think the song has ended and then another beat kind of kicks in. The song is actually really fantastic. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, but the, the, another beat kicks in and there, there's this sort of twist talking about uh, it reveals that Star Butterfly is in love with her best friend, oh. who is Marco Diaz. Um, um, Starco. Um, um, yeah. We're not spoiling anything. People already know this, right? This yeah, is no, this is out. <laughs> yeah. This is out. This is Darn, I wanted yeah. a, sp a speech bubble spoiler <laughs> episode. Dang. Okay. Yeah. No, this is this is out. Um, I had no idea that was a twist. So all the music oh, wow. is recorded separately. Mm -hmm. Obviously, they have, you know, the... There's more requirements when it comes to recording music than yeah, just, yes. just the VO. Instruments and people. Yes. 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 A song. And talent. Mm -hmm. yes. 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 Like yes. Song. yes. Talent yes. would help. Actual talent. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I had no idea that this twist was happening. So as I was watching the episode, uh, I'm like, what? What? Oh, so you watch it with the fans. What? Like oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Wow. Nice, yeah. dude. I, mean, I definitely got to start watching this one because I, I, like, I like episodes or shows that have a, an overarching story. And it's dude. rare it, for it, a cartoon. Like I a, know. Like a honored cartoon like yeah, on Disney to have a story like that. Danny it's Phantom cool. had kind of an arcing thing but mm -hmm. not it was it was you could we had some standalone episodes and mm -hmm. definitely definite arc things but it was like almost like X-Files where you could there was an underlying thing but mm -hmm. some episodes stood on their own but not nothing as epic as uh, Star Wars. And I would imagine for those shows too at some point like you've done so many episodes that it's easy to throw in things that kind of over arc because yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. base is built and like yeah. the fans Are you saying my job was easy is that what you're trying to say? You're saying, saying it was I'm super saying, easy look, in, like it's in your like career, your show's better than mine. <laughs> there has not been no one else has had it easier than you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's right. And quote him on that. Tweet it to him. Yeah, tweet it. <laughs> you know, Adam McMillan. Take it out of context. Having Adam McMillan in here has been the best right. yeah. thing of my life. Hey, okay, another question. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. So, so these are... Are By like, the way, Jace, you spelled these really. This is oh, really good yeah, spelling on all of them. Your handwriting no. looks a lot like a type. <laughs> it's right. amazing. Yeah. How did these you do that? Are maybe spoilery. I doubt you can even answer these. But okay. a lot of people ask. Do you want to ask? Like, here's one, one. Here's one. This is from Caitlin. How, that's, did, she, that's, how did she get that username? That, I, 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 <laughs> yeah, I don't right. know. That's what Caitlin, it was. you're so lucky. <laughs> Caitlin, here's the question. Adam, do you have a theory about Marco's moon cheeks? Oh. Ooh. And the cheeks are up here, Butch, by the way. Uh, and, and, yeah. Uh, yeah, the face is hey, 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 a little contact. Hey, hey, hey. Face eyes up here. Out of the gutter, eyes, eyes up here. Yeah. Um. It was funny. My mind wasn't in the gutter. My mind was like, wow, Caitlin's name has got an E in it. I was huh? like, yeah, that's what I was doing. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, yeah, I do, actually. So um, at, at one point in the episode, Marco grabs a hold of, of Star's mm. wand. Right. And that's when you see these moon cheeks happen. I think... Uh, is, is Star's wand like Thor's hammer? No one else can touch it but her. Is that? Is that no, actually, right. this wand has been passed down from generation to generation. I saw that in the pilot. I did see that. Yeah, there you go. There we go. It's been passed down um, to generation to generation, and it sort of takes the shape of whoever's holding it. You got it. Got so it. when Marco holds it, it actually turns into a different. It's sort of got some spikes and looks a little different than when Star has it. Got and it. got a little mole on it. It's got a little <laughs> tiny mole. Actually, does it? Does it? No, it mole? doesn't. I forgot who does it, but they take like a sharpie and, and they're drawing it. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it's you're great. right. <laughs> yep, totally. Um, so. Uh, when he's he casts a spell with her wand, mm -hmm. and you see these moon cheeks, so I think it's it's probably a less uh, like conspiracy or okay, like yeah. Marco's not human and he has mm -hmm. powers and he's like a you know has lineage That's with the, the next butterfly question. family. Is, is he In human? fact, the next question yeah, is: I, I think is he human? Is Ray he? GGTV asks: Is Marco actually human? Yeah. Is so so I think yes. I think Marco is human. Mm -hmm. I think that he just is he's human, right? When he yeah, yeah, yeah he when is. he holds the wand. That's how the the magic oh, sort sure, of yeah. expresses on his got it, got on it, his got cheeks. It. Very cool. Is there something deeper? Probably. I've, I don't know. Probably. I don't know. Maybe I, I don't another question. Everybody asked these two questions. They asked about Starco. They just wanted you to talk about that, and oh, then everyone yeah. asked about season four. Okay. So I don't know how much you could say about. Yeah. So I mean, for season four, obviously, I have to remain pretty tight lipped. All mm -hmm. I am allowed to say about that is that it's coming. Mm -hmm. Which okay. is like the lamest got piece of information. <laughs> got it. It's got like, it. Well, duh. Well, well uh, my only question next year, though, right? My, yes. only, my right? only question okay. is: Does Spider Man come back to life? That's all my yeah, only yeah, question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know that? Yeah. Do you know the answer? Yeah. To yeah. Then? Okay, good. Spider Man yeah, comes does. back. Okay, good. He okay. does. Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Good. good. Yeah. Actually, Stark, I don't feel so good. I have a theory. Okay. That was gifted to me by a friend of mine who is like probably watched these Marvel movies thousands of times. Right. He thinks Tony Stark is going to be the one to like, you know, save everybody, mm -hmm. but that he's going to lose his left arm in the process. His left arm. What, what, why? why That's pretty arm? random. If you go, yeah. if you go back and watch all the movies, like, uh, 
uh, he's always like rubbing his arm. Oh, it, it's always the one that gets damaged, uh, and he can tell you like all the specific mm-hmm. parts in each movie. But, People and, have a lot of time like, on There's like something, yeah. There's like something like foreshadowing that once it happens, mm-hmm. if you go back and watch all the movies that they've been. Dude, I feel bad for seeds. your friend. All the time he has on his hands <laughs> to figure this out. Everybody <laughs> needs a friend. Like that. Going off that, they've also <laughs> had. True. I think in this phase of like movies, they've had in every movie someone's arm has gotten cut off. So it could lead into that. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know Winter Soldier did in Civil War because yeah. Iron yeah. Man blew it off. Uh, this yeah. was cool. I can't remember the – but I, I know for sure in this phase everyone's – someone's – like even if like a background character. Wait, not someone's even got their movie. arm cut off? Yeah, yeah. Now, it could even be a background character or a villain. Has anyone a, got their arm cut off on this podcast today yet? Well, Has that just, happened? Just Does right? it yeah. Oh, 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 geez. Geez. oh right. God. Jeez. Oh, clean that oh. man. Clean that up, dude. <laughs> Come on. But hey, by the way, good good, good form. Good Thank form. You. Thank you. Nicely done. Thank you so much. Very nicely done. Thank you so much. And I would just limp. Yeah. Can't yeah. Move. <laughs> wait, that's, that's so like, the, wait, there was. You, so you, you train at the Cobra Kai? Is that where you train? Yes. The co- oh, at the Cobra Kai? Because they're the bad guys. They're the bad guys. Yeah, bad guys. No, I would definitely be at the uh, Miyagi Dojo. Miyagi Dojo? Yeah. 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 Wait, did you, have you ever snatched a fly out of the air with chopsticks at all? Oh, ever? absolutely. Oh, of course. Yeah. Easy. I'm the guy who will lock himself in a room with the fly <laughs> until that thing is dead. I'm like, <laughs> stop buzzing. <laughs> Leave me alone. I will, unless it smells bad, then you're out. And then I'm out. Then I'm totally out. Bye. Come here, Come here, fly. Come here, fly. <laughs> okay, wait, a couple more questions here. Let's oh, see. Star- have- you wanted me to talk about Starco. Oh, yeah, Starco. Hashtag, yes. hashtag Starco. Yeah. What is Starco? So Starco is what the fans are wanting. Yeah. They want oh, Star and Marco. And Marco. Oh, I it is see. the ship, the good ship Starco. It's like, it's like Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner. Benifer. But better. But better. Oh, yeah, yeah. What could be yes. better than that? Come on. <laughs> Starco. Brangelina. Starco. Starco. Starco is like the ultimate ship. And mm. all the fans, most of the fans know that I am a huge Starco shipper. I and it's not, it, and I don't, it. I don't necessarily like need it to happen by the end of the show, mm. but like it should happen. Yeah, it should, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Remember you know? the show Moonlighting? Are you too young to hear? Didn't remember the show Moonlight? You probably never, you, you were not I around. never watched. Well, Moonlighting was a show of Bruce Willis and Sybil Shepherd. Yes. And yeah. it was, it, it, that's where Bruce Willis got famous. And uh, he was a detective and she was a detective. And there was always this tension, will they, won't they? And finally, like the last season of the show, for an entire season, they were together and it ruined the whole show. Did it? Yeah, because there was always no. that tension. Are yeah. they going to do it? Is yeah, it's, it's like. So don't let Star. Become moonlighting. That's all, right. all I'm saying. You hear that, everyone who yeah, works yes. on it? Yes. Everyone who knows, knows that, that don't show. Let it, don't let it be changed, please. <laughs> yes. It will not be changed. <laughs> I By swear royal to that. decree. <laughs> yes. Yeah, no, I think, uh, yeah, it's like, it's like, uh, it's like an improv. Got it. If you say, like, stop or I'll shoot, and then, and there's all this tension, if you shoot and then keep the scene going, it's like, well, we've already done the thing that we, like, we're all hoping what happened. Like the yeah, climax yeah, yeah. has right. been reached. Exactly. So yeah, right. I'm with you. It kind of makes sense to not. Yeah, it's better. Or until the very last episode, like ended on a, right. on a high. As a that, fan, yeah, yeah. I still want it to happen. Yeah, sure. That's definitely cool. very yeah. cool. It's cool. As a fan of me, as a fan, as of, a you, fan of you, I want it to Indeed. happen. Indeed. Yeah. We haven't had, now. You haven't even done well at the at the opening. You did Marco's voice. So you got to do Marco's voice mm-hmm. for us now. Yeah. yeah. We, well, we, got, we, we can do. A, maybe we can do a couple of questions as Marco. If Let's you want. Yeah. answer a question. Well, okay. Well, the last questions I have, I Go. wrote up questions myself. Since it's like he said, I'm a big Disney fan. Yeah. So here are 10 Disney questions related to Star. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. Let's Speed do it. round. Okay. Okay. So. Is Star Butterfly an official Disney princess? Yes. Excellent. Does that make Marco a Disney prince or Disney princess? Both. Excellent. <laughs> um, did You're Mar- killing it with the Marco voice, by the <laughs> yeah, way. Thank Fantastic. you. Um, did, got some nachos. <laughs> did Marco survive Thanos' snap in Infinity War? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, that's very unfortunate. <laughs> well, well, the great thing is I didn't either, but oh. I'm back already, which is okay. really yeah, cool. Okay. And I, but I can't tell you anything. Uh, which Pixar character would Marco get, be friends with? Oh... Big question. I got, I got some hard ones Big in here. Question. I got some tricky ones. Would he be friends with? Yeah. Who would he be friends with? I think he'd be friends with, hold on. I think he'd be friends with Andy from Toy Story. Mm, interesting. Mm, I went, no? I went straight to Star would be friends with Joy. Mark would be friends with Fear. Okay. okay. Or he'd be friends okay. with Dash from Incredibles. 
Uh, Who do you think? Who do you think? Gosh. You got a lot of options. I'm here. not winning oh, this, this game. Oh, this is supposed to be like a quick round, too. Oh. By the way, I got I, some I, hard I, ones. you have three more seconds. One. Oh, no. Oh, no. Two. Uh, Just say a name. Uh, uh, Bolt. Three. Oh, that's what oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Bolt. <laughs> Disney. Bolt. <laughs> All the Disney fans. <laughs> Good. Oh, no. Come on. Well, look, they're, already, they're, they're already mad at me for not knowing yeah. much about the show, so I, I, I'm taking all the pain for you. Don't worry. So go ahead. Keep going. Oh, okay. Um, well, for you, what classic Disney character would you want to voice? If you were to oh. go back in the classy, classic Disney Wow, films? would you want to voice, uh, I don't know, someone oh, like this? Oh, 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 oh boy. Not even uh, right I would love to voice oh. either uh, like like a, maybe a Peter Pan or, oh, yeah? or Robin Hood. I could actually I could see you doing yeah. Peter Pan. Yeah, Peter Pan would be very cool. Yeah, yeah. That's that awesome. Um, All it then, takes is faith and trust. And yeah. we, we talked about this before with, <laughs> and a uh, with your pin. Pixie what ideal Star versus the Force of Evil Disney Store merchandise would you want the most? Like any kind of toy or anything? Ooh, we need we need some like really amazing action figures. Oh yeah, mm. like it would be cool actually if like are you familiar with Figma? Um, it sounds familiar. Okay, so it's know. a Japanese toy company. Oh yeah, Wait, and yeah, they yeah. make all the incredibly like this is like I'm it's totally. Like do they make do they make do they make all of the uh, the transformer figures? They don't make all of those. Do they like that? I'm like sure the, at some point they've made transformers, but uh-huh. they make like these incredibly articulate like you know oh, one thousand okay. points of articulation, yeah. oh, uh, and they come with yeah, different yeah, yeah. faces that you can put on oh, that yeah. have different Seen expressions. There's a jillion like pieces that. to them. There's a jillion pieces, but they are so cool because they look they it's like. If you snatch something from the animated, mm-hmm. you know, from Jace the show. is actually one of those figures. Yeah, I'm mean, actually. actually figure. Whoa! You know, look how, oh, look how many points of articulation he has. No articulation in my legs, so I'll just be here. Yeah, that's yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, it's unfortunate. Yeah. Half man, half chair. Quick, yeah. replace his face. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy now. Well, yeah. oh, well okay. Yeah. <laughs> Jay's looking at the, la- the laser light. <laughs> oh, there we go. My face. Um, what Disney franchise should Star cross over with? Because, like, Phineas and Ferb crossed over with Marvel. <laughs> Yeah. And Star Wars ooh, during its run. Yep, yep. Mm. What do you think would be best? Oh, gosh. Why am I so bad? I got some hard ones. Questions. I got some hard ones. Which Disney franchise? You know, it would be really fun. Adam, to see. I can't help you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> no. What about, uh, like, um, what about, uh, wouldn't it be? It could it, be a star. I think Star Wars would be Star a logical, Wars, would be yeah. a logical one, wouldn't it? I star think. Wars would be a logical one. It would be fun to do like a to see uh, Wreck It Ralph some to see oh, Star yeah. in the Wreck It Ralph world. Mm-hmm. Like I think that I mean because you're already seeing all these other Disney princesses and stuff like that. I mean yeah. I don't know if that counts. But she's a Disney. We just decided. But she's yeah, a Disney but princess. but I do think that would be a fun right. world because you could have like an element of magic and all of this mm-hmm. stuff in the Wreck It Ralph world. So yeah, there you go. Cool. Make a meet uh, Lee Char. Perfect. There, yes. there it is. There yeah. it is. So many weird words in this podcast. There today. is. So there's Boba. There's Lee Char. I'm all these words. Keep going. One more okay. question. One more. Okay. One wait. more. Uh, let me. Let me choose. You ready? I Adam, you ready? I, 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 there's a drum roll. Here yes. we go. The other ones are, are really hard. I got some hard Bring ones. Bring it. Bring it. You want the hardest one? Yeah. The most. The mo- you gotta be. We gotta What's be the hardest with one? This one? The ideal Star versus the Force of Evil Disneyland ride. Oh come on! I, you guys, you said a hard one. No, this is good. Oh, yeah, uh, okay, right? yeah, it, this would be like um, okay. like um, an Alice in Wonderland or a yeah. Peter Pan, dark ride. Yeah, but you, you, you go through all the different dimensions and go to Muni and everything. Yeah, yeah it'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah. When, to, when you when you like start at Muni and then go to Marco, like go through the portal and into, into Earth. Into Earth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Every yeah. transition yeah. to a different room is a portal. Yeah. Yeah, like you, like and down. bonus points if every little car has a wand on it that you're shooting. Oh, like Astro Blasters. Like Blasters. Astro yeah, yeah. Blasters. That'd be awesome. I like when she makes the puppies appear. Like, cool puppies and lasers come out of their yeah, eyes. Yeah, do, 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 yeah. Do. Very cool. See, again, watch the pilot. Uh, so did you catch on? I don't know. I, maybe they don't mention it in the in the uh, pilot episode, but one of the puppies' name is Barco Diaz. Oh, no, yeah. I, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I missed that. Yep, yep. <laughs> I, I, I must get the creator of the show in here. I, I've got to learn yeah, more. I want, I want awesome. to learn more. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, yeah. she probably has more people than you do. She has Ooh. so many You showed people. up with people that are helping yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. And I had talking points in the whole thing. Yeah. I was like, man, I was like, wow, this this guy is huge. Prepared. It's prepared. Very, very prepared. Yeah. Yes. And I'm very, very impressed. Have you had a good time on Speech Bubble? I've had such a horrible <laughs> experience. Oh, no. This no. has been probably oh. the opposite of a highlight for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. By the way, Should I'm we sorry. Or... Was it your fault? I think, I believe I so. I think it's your fault. <laughs> normally when I'm not here, everything's great. Everything's fine. If it's just me and the guest, it's totally fine. Yeah. No, no. It was definitely because of Jace. I know. Okay. I know. Yeah, uh, expect that. Yeah. My well, parents brought, tell I, me that as well every morning. Well, I brought him in. I brought, <laughs> he's a, he's yeah. a huge Disney fan. I brought him in. Yeah. No, this it's is too hard a question. Exactly, yeah, no, I really appreciate you guys having me. Well, dude, it's thanks for coming awesome. in. Awesome. Now, now yeah. what can thanks, we thanks, look man. forward to seeing you in in the future? There's star, anything else coming up that we should know about? Season four? Uh, yeah, season four is coming. Um, and if there's not, we just cut this part out. 
there's a million. There's a. Mil- <laughs> I mean, there's a million NDAs. So there yeah. is stuff that I that I'm not allowed to talk about. I'm right. also the sort wow. of like, the right. other like side <laughs> things that I do. Uh, I'm the voice of Disney XD. So if you oh, yeah, just watch you XD, yeah, yeah. I'm the the coming up next on Disney XD. That right. guy. That's awesome. Very cool. Um, so yeah, they should, should spin off that guy into his own show. They should. They should. The guy. They should. Who just announces Disney XD guy coming up next in this room? My people. When um, here's my mom. Yeah. Here's a weird story. But when J.J. Abrams was on Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy Kimmel wanted a spoiler. So J.J. Abrams gave him the first word of the movie. It was like the or something. So can you give us a spoiler that wouldn't be a spoiler for season four? For season four. Give us like a word. Anything. Any little piece that the bands can get. Any. Well, here it is. A word that won't make any sense. Speech bubble drum roll. Okay. In Marco's voice. In Marco's voice. In Marco's voice. One word. What? Oh! Boom! Oh! Fanfare! Oh Interpret God. it however you like. <laughs> wow, okay. okay. All right, guys, yeah, I want to yeah. thank my amazing guest, Adam MacArthur. I got it right. Thanks, Thanks, <laughs> right I want to thank J- uh, J- uh, John Deal. Uh, J- Jeffrey. Jeffrey Deal. Thank you very much. Thank John you Wick. Thank you very John much. John Wick. That's All right, guys, that's Speech Bubble. Roll the theme music. Oh,